Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning I'd like to talk to you about the president of Zimbabwe. But before I do so, I would like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. The reason I am doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And for this reason, I'll be explaining. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that took place as if I was there when the events happened. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Okay, right. Um... On the 6th of June, 2020, the Lord spoke to me about the president of Zimbabwe. As a matter of fact, the Lord calls him the king of Zimbabwe. This is how the Lord describes him. The Lord said to me, he will not have him as a president of Zimbabwe for much longer. Yes, this is what the Lord is saying. He will not have him as a president of Zimbabwe for much longer. As the Lord continued to speak to me, I gathered in my spirit that he was not a fair leader and that there were corruption in the government and that there were bribes as well in his government. And so the Lord is not happy with him. Therefore, he is not the type of leader that the Lord wants to be running Zimbabwe. So this is what the Lord is saying. He is not happy with him. And so he will not be running Zimbabwe for much longer. The Lord says that there are a lot of government officials that he will be taking out of their places. Yep, the Lord is saying he will take a lot of government officials out of their places. He's also talking of church leaders as well. The Lord is saying he will be exposing church leaders as well. And now is a time. Now is a time for such because we are living in the last days. We are living in the last days and the Lord is shaking up his governments, his leaders that are in authority. So this is what the Lord is saying. In Proverbs 29, verse 2, it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoiceth. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So when the, gov when the government are righteous, when they are righteous people the, the, or leaders, the people will always rejoice. But when the evil rule, the wicked rule, the people will mourn. Also in Proverbs 29 verse 4, it says the king by judgment establisheth the land, but he that receives gifts overthroweth it. Those who are receiving gifts, who are receiving bribes in the government, they destroy the country. And so the Lord is not happy. It has come to a point 
where the Lord decided, he's decided that there should be no more. He's decided that there should be no more of this president, this leader, this king, as he describes him, should not be in government for much longer. Okay, those are my few words today on what the Lord wants to say or what the Lord is saying about the president of Zimbabwe. But before I go, as usual, I would like to say if there's anyone who don't know Christ as their personal saviour, to do so before it's too late. Tomorrow is not promised to any man and we could die in our sins at any time. So I'm encouraging you, anyone who don't know the Lord as their saviour, to repent of their sins, turn from their wicked ways and receive the Lord, be baptised and receive the Lord. Hallelujah. Also, if there's anyone who were once with Christ, but they've turned away from the faith, I encourage you to seek the Lord before it's too late. Seek the Lord, turn from your ways and seek the Lord before it's too late. Also, for those who are in the church, but has one foot in and one foot out, I encourage you to decide to accept the Lord as your personal saviour. Because tomorrow is not promised to any man and we could die in our sins at any time. We are in the last days. We are in the last days, brethren. And we can see from the many things that are unfolding in this world that we are in the last days. So I'm, I'm encouraging you to seek the Lord before it's too late. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.